Oh, it sounds no, really interesting. Yeah. The pe- there are various types of people who go into various specialties in medical school. Right. And chances are, when you're in medical school class, after the first month, you can t- who's going to go into what, all right? Infectious disease was always a knight in shining armor. When we would treat patients and we couldn't find out what was going on, you'd call an ID and they'd come riding in, find the bug, find the drug, and cure the patient, or the patient died. Mm-hmm. All right? So it was a quick reward situation. Uh-huh. And it, it attracted people who were into that. All right? Right? It didn't attract people who were into chronic disease. And it certainly didn't attract people who wanted to deal with chronic disease leading to death. So all of a sudden you have a whole discipline of people who are being thrown this disease which is totally different from right. what they wanted to do in their in their choice of specialty. And luckily here we had really good people and, and I, I would never say a bad thing about any of them. They were wonderful. But they weren't of the mindset and nobody in the infectious disease at that point was of the mindset to deal with this. They were completely caught off guard. And I think that was one of the things that fed some of the animosity that went between patients and doctors uh-huh. in the early stages of this because when doctors who are so <laughs> achievement oriented can't figure something out, right. sometimes it comes negatively about the patients, you know, and there's patient blaming, and there's, you know, blah, 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 blah. 